bad news for French citizens. The France Finance Committee has now finally adopted an amendment to establish a targeted universal tax. So if you are a French citizen and you want to move to a low tax country, then you would still have to pay taxes to France. This approach was drawn up by the Nouveau Front Populaire. So now may say that the left wing alliance has no power to push through this proposed change. However, the new Minister of Economy, Finance and Industry, Antoine Armand, has already said that there will be new tax hikes that will hit the country's wealthy in particular. And by the way, I love it when people talk about temporary tax hikes. I know that all too well from other countries. They always talk about temporary and in the end the tax remains. And such a tax is also a gateway to a citizenship based taxation. He also says that the state's deficit has never been so bad and that something needs to be done. And what is the best thing to do? Exactly introduce new taxes. So I can very well imagine that this new tax could be introduced, which would affect all those who want to emigrate, especially to countries with a much lower tax rate. So let's have a look at what exactly this new proposed amendment says. Here on the left hand side, we can see that the application was submitted on October 16th. So just two weeks ago and here on the right hand side, we can see what was written in this proposed amendment. In the first paragraph, we can find two requirements. First of all, all persons of French nationality who have resided in France for at least three years out of the 10 years preceding that change of tax residence to a state with a tax rate more than now the second requirement, 50% lower than that of France in terms of taxation on income from work capital or assets. So two requirements. First of all, you need to be a French citizen who has resided in France for at least three years out of the 10 years before. And secondly, you need to move to a state where the tax rate is at least 50% lower than that of France. Now let's scroll down a little bit to this paragraph, a very important one. Here in the sentence, the first one, it says, this therefore involves adding a general principle of taxation based on nationality. So what does this sentence tell us? Basically, this is at least a gateway for a citizenship based taxation, if not already a citizenship based taxation as we already have it in the United States. And then it says or a significant length of residence in France, which could also apply to each tax on personal income. And now they say which taxes will be included or fall under this universal tax naming income tax, inheritance tax or tax on capital gains or dividends. So this would also affect all those people who have crypto, for example, in their asset portfolio and then including when they are collected in a country other than France, obviously which would make it a universal tax. So what could this mean for you? It says that capital gains is also included. So if you own crypto, for example, a capital gain from the crypto would also fall under this universal tax. At this point, it is stated that only citizens who become tax residents in a country with a tax rate 50% lower than that of France are affected. However, France already has a very high tax rate. Therefore, many countries would also fall under this regulation if you move there. So, for example, if you were to move to Dubai, you would be directly affected. And if you then sell your crypto profits there after a bull run with large profits, for example, you would still have to pay tax in France on the capital gains. And even if you are a tax resident of the UAE, so being a tax resident in another country is then no longer sufficient to avoid paying any taxes in your actual home country. What is not yet 100% clear to me is whether this should apply to citizens who become tax residents in another country after the enactment of such a law or whether it also applies to citizens who emigrated before the law was enacted. 
So what does this mean for someone who is a French citizen, still lives in France and is considering moving their tax residence? In any case, the issue should not be put off any longer. So you should start planning now and put the right structures in place to significantly minimize any potential tax burden. And this current development in France also shows once again how much more relevant a second or different citizenship is becoming. Under certain circumstances, I mean, we don't know yet how this potential universal tax will be look like, but a second citizenship can also be used to avoid possible taxation. So my appeal to you, if you are thinking of relocating your tax residence or emigrating, you are very welcome to click on the first link in the description and then we will take a closer look at your specific situation and help you to prepare for such a universal tax in the best possible way. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video. Bye.